This is a short bite episode of Homeschool Together. Hello, lovely homeschoolers. Welcome back. This is a short bite edition. As promised, we talked about from, I think, last week, we, we mentioned that we would do a little talk about the journal that we we did. On, yeah, um, how to put together a travel journal. Yeah, a travel journal. But I think just in journaling altogether, I know that a lot it of us true. are, you know, we've got our kindergartners, first graders, second graders, third graders, and we want to encourage handwriting, creative expression, developing of stories, um, embracing handwriting, embracing, um, you know, all, all the aspects of literacy in the written form. And I, I think this is this was a great thing for us to start. And I, yeah. you know, doing this travel journal, I think got me thinking about, you know, using journals in, in more of a broader sense, yeah. um, especially with the curriculum when we get into a lot more of like copy work and we're doing more spelling work. I know this summer I'm thinking about doing a big spelling push um, mm-hmm. because I, I know she's got a lot of ability to read, but I want her to reverse engineer that into the the written word. I've noticed some little struggles here and there on getting certain types of phonemes correct and whatnot, but um, I think handwriting and in journals in general w- would be helpful with that. So let's just lay out like, okay, so we went on travel. We wanted to do a, a journal that was part of one, one of the homeschool elements that we did on travel. You know, we're getting into the summer when this re- this episode is released. A lot of families may be interested in going on some travel and incorporating, mm-hmm. you know, maybe they're doing some, tr- you know, something to a national park or, or going to see a grandparent they haven't seen in a while. And maybe they want to inc- include a journal. So what was your thinking around this travel journal? Yeah. So um, we chose one that was, you know, not too large, just spiral bound. Yeah. I was really trying to find one that didn't have lines, um, which was really difficult to find, by the way, um, because but they the spiral, all... The spiral bound, I mean, don't, 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 don't leave off of that. That was really nice to be able to open the book. You know, a lot of times when you have these bound bind, you right. have to kind of like bend in. Yeah, it. yeah. I think that the spiral bound is really good for the for yeah. the kiddos um, because it could lay flat and it's easier. So this is a like a five by seven type size journal. Yeah. Um, so I really looked around for one. I had to end up ordering it online. Um, and we can link the one that I bought uh, in the show notes. But I wanted to get one that didn't have lines so that she wouldn't feel like she had to be hemmed in by those because this is going to be uh, heavily picture-based. Mm-hmm. And I wanted her to have just this freedom. So um, we went ahead. Th- this was before our trip to Ireland. And it looks almost like a sketch journal, right? Yeah. Like a like, sketchbook? It, it, it is. It's like, it is kind of a sketch type book. So, you know, the, the very first thing, I, I had her start in her journal. I think this is an important point. Start in the journal before you even go on the trip. Mm-hmm. Um, this is both a great way to remember preparing for the trip and to get your learner kind of geared up for it. So what we did, for example, for Ireland, the first page, um, I printed out the Irish flag and I just used a glue stick and glued it in there. And then she traced the letters. I I printed it out on, um, actually we had some stencils and so she did Ireland and then she colored it all. And then, um, we started printing some pictures and this is one of the things that I think was the best thing about this journal is we got a, a Canon Ivy printer and we'll link it in the show notes so you guys can check out a what Canon we bought. Canon Ivy 2, I believe. Is the yeah, I think it's yeah. the Ivy 2. Um, it basically prints these little two by three inch uh, photos with sticky back paper. And it connects via Bluetooth to your phone. So what was great about that, the next it's, page is... It's self-powered as well. So, yeah, it's a battery. It does about eight, eight prints before you need to recharge the battery? Yeah, something like that. We okay. never did that many prints, so okay. it was fine. Um, and, and we'll link it down so you guys can check it out. Definitely check out the show notes. So what we did, for example, the next page is we went ahead and had our daughter, before we left the trip, we took pictures with all her favorite people that she intended to send postcards to. So mm-hmm. we took a picture and then we printed it out with a Canon Ivy stuck it in there and then we wrote the address next to that picture of her with that person um and then when it came to pictures of like grandma and grandpa we did the same thing and nana and papa and those folks had asked for specific souvenirs so she was able to write down which souvenirs i got some cute little like uh, saint patrick's day stickers too and she was able to decorate that so after she went through and did pictures of everybody she intended you know people she would miss while we were gone of course and people she wanted to write to kind of some souvenirs she wanted to look for. Then we went ahead and I printed out a map of Ireland and I had her trace that. Mm -hmm. Um, We have one of the uh, Crayola tracing pads and we'll put a link to that in the show notes. It's 
not very expensive and it's great because you don't need to use tracing paper with it because it's a light up board it's a, it, and it's very bright so it's very it, bright it'll come through like a heavy uh paper yep so we just turned this yeah. open and then we put the pa- paper underneath it and she went ahead and traced the whole country and then we went put, put dots on all the places we intended to go when we were there so she had that um and then i went and we had our flight number on mm-hmm. the next page and what time we departed and she wrote all of this and i went on to like flight aware mm-hmm. or flight track or one of those and i looked up the same flight because it's it leaves from seattle to dublin the same time like every day and i went ahead and printed out the map of the route that the plane <laughs> would take and i pasted it in there with a glue stick so she had that and then i printed out a picture of an Aer Lingus plane and she went ahead and traced that so this was all before we even left so she's like here's where we're going here's a map of where we're going mm-hmm. here's the people i want to write to Here's the airplane stuff and where we're going to go. And so all of that happened before we even left home. And then once we got there, what we did for every day was she got to choose one favorite picture of the day that we would print on the ivy. And it's so easy. The ivy was great. Like it's it's not, you know, uh, photo center quality pictures. It's sure. That's not what it's for. But it's... It's great because the the back is sticky. So I would have something on my phone. I'd say, hey, oh, this is a picture of, and she was like, oh, this is a picture of me and daddy in front of this church. That was my favorite picture of the day. So she'd pick that. All mm-hmm. I had to do on my phone was just open the Ivy app and be like, print. And it just, it prints right away. And you can even do some photo adjustment. You can zoom in on it. And mm-hmm. it was so convenient. Um, and so we would paste, it would, we'd peel that, stick it down in her journal. And then she would write a few sentences like <laughs> her first one, it's a picture of her on the airplane eating the food, <laughs> which is a, it was a subpar mac and cheese, just a spoiler alert. Um, but anyway, she wrote eating on the plane, and then she drew a picture of her and her sister eating, and then she wrote lots of bags, and she drew pictures of us with all of our baggage, <laughs> yeah. right, from the airport. Well, so every day it was just a few words and lots of drawing. It's funny to, to you know, look back on this and, and when, you know, in the moment when she was actually doing the artwork, it's funny on, you know, what she keys in on the whole day. And, mm-hmm. you know, you'd show her all the pictures from that day because our phones would sync together and we we have a kind of a family share plan on our on our images and you know she would always key on on very strange things like we oh, we would always think like oh that big you know trip over to here was great she yeah. goes no no i'm i was more interested in you know riding my scooter by these trees you know right she would pick some that i thought it was interesting yeah. so what we did when we packed for this was we we packed a little bag and we made this our journal kit. So we talked about in the last episode, some of our favorite travel things, this set of bags that I was able to get that were zip top bags. And this one was kind of a pencil case size. So I packed, we packed a, we just called it the journal kit. And it had um, a pair of child scissors in it, uh, a whole bunch of colored pencils and a glue stick. And that was our our journal, uh, our journal kit that we were able to use with this. And so we would print things with the Ivy, put them in here. She would open up her journal kit and she had all her colored pencils and mm-hmm. a writing pencil. Um, and then everywhere we went, we would grab the like free brochure about the place or yeah. a map or something. And she would use her scissors and she would cut it out and we would use the glue stick and paste it. So she was able to say like, oh, here's when we went to Killarney House and Gardens or, you know, here's when we went to the National Park Museum and you know, she writes, you know, we learned about animals and plants and in Killarney National Park. And so it was really great. She drew lots of pictures and wrote lots. And then there was one I even had a map uh, and I glued the, the back page of the map so it still folds out because it was like a big traditional farms that we went to mm-hmm. and saw how they used to live and, and farm back in the 1800s. It makes the di- uh, the journal very dynamic because you have these right. elements that kind of fold out and yeah. almost like a pop-up book. Yeah, it was perfect. I saw one that a friend of ours actually gave us this idea. Shout out to Dawn if you listen to this. Yep. Um, she gave us this idea and hers was super colorful because oh, yeah, she one. even yeah we, we were just hanging with her today yeah she yeah. was showing me today from from her trip with her daughter and she uh had gotten she they went to hawaii and so they'd gotten like scrapbook papers and things from um from the craft store before they left and so they were able to cut those and they pasted those as backgrounds and then they put the canon she was the one that gave me the idea of the canon ivy um so they put their ivy print there and then she would write things i think one of the things it was great handwriting practice for our daughter mm-hmm. i think that because she had to write it did stifle her creativity a little bit um i think maybe 
looking back on it, if I were to do this again, I think I would have her write something and then I could write a larger block. Like she could write maybe what she felt was the most important thing we did today or something. And then I could write more because I think she wanted to say more, but her hand was getting tired and she didn't want to write more. So I think that that was kind of a little bit of a problem. And when it came to it towards the end, um, she didn't want to write as much. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we have most every day of the trip. There's a couple of days at the very end that we don't have. Um, but it's wonderful to look back through and see the things that she thought were really great. Well, and this, and you didn't use all the pages in this book. So it's definitely something that we can have as like kind of a rolling journal, you know, like the next time we go on a trip or right. maybe the next time we go on a, you know, even a shorter trip, like to Nana and Papa's or something. Sure. Like that. Or anything sure. she wants to record, if she wants to do yeah. pictures of nature or anything, this is something that she can keep working on. You know, Sundays, it's funny. We went to have milkshakes and got souvenirs and we watched Spider-Man. <laughs> And if if uh, friend number one or friend number two is reading this, I hope you really like your souvenirs. That's what she wrote. <laughs> like, you know, it's cute to see what she thought was interesting. And I think the idea of journaling, this is the way to do it for younger kids because they have this visual element. You're yeah. pasting in there. What I like about it is if, it, if you were relying all on words, they're too young, right? They're not going to get into just words. Yeah. Um, if with the pictures and, and pasting in stuff, you don't have to worry about coming home and then putting something together. This is a big thing I learned. And actually, I think that might be worth doing an episode on my travel journal oh, from yeah. our trip because yeah. I spent every night making that photo book for ourselves so that it would be done when we got home. Because the problem is you you collect all this stuff and then you get home and you don't do anything with it. And so that's what was really important about this is because we had the Canon printer with us. And this printer, yeah. by the way, I should say it's... um. Probably like a deck of cards, maybe a little bit bigger than a deck of cards, but it's about that thick. Um, but it's maybe you know five inches long and four inches wide. Um, but it is tiny, and I just got a little zip up case, and it's really, really small. So, very travel friendly, very travel friendly. So, the ability to have that printer and print out those photos and then to uh, have the glue stick and just go ahead and cut out those brochures right then, just paste them down and then yeah. let them write or draw. I think doing it in the moment is what's really important because if you're trying to wait till you come home to catch up on it, it'll never happen. Um, so that would be my encouragement to you is get a nice journal, yeah. make a journal kit. Um, if you can afford to splurge for the, the Canon printer, I think it's great. And I think we're going to get a lot of use out of it in years to come, uh, with our kids, but it made for a really terrific travel journal. Well, and it's going to be interesting to see how much she looks back on this book. I know we took her to Disney World when she was three, and we put together kind of just a picture book. You know, one of those ones where you can slide in the five right. by three, you know, kind of whatever the mass market printing. Four by six. The four by six printing uh, of pictures that you can get from like, you know, whatever photo place. And she slid so many of those photos in there. We have almost, I think, 30 or 40 you know, images in there. Oh, oh it's and, way more than that. It's like she, almost a hundred. She it's she so loved many. to just flip through that and just, she loves to look. You know, remember the experiences and that whole trip that we did there. I think it was like a two week trip that we went. You know, to like a zoo, and so she has pictures of her with like a giraffe, and then she loves looking and, at that. And then you know, her swimming in a pool, and then you know, being with grandma and grandpa, and then all the images from Disney World and. I can't tell you how many years she has always pulled that book down off her shelf and just looked through them. Right. I think more in the sense that she looks at herself as like a younger kid and goes, wow, that's what I looked like. And, you know, then all trying yeah. to remember those She's trying to remember the trip because yeah. she was only three and a half. One of the things you can do with this, and, and I had read this before we left, is even if you're printing things out like mm-hmm. we are or pasting them in, you can still reserve a whole page and write Yep. in pencil or something, what picture you want to go there when you get home. Yeah. So you can reserve a spot like, you know, I've got, there's room here for a whole page of a four by six, like, oh, you know, this is the picture I want to put there and then just turn the page. And that's a great way to do it too, mm-hmm. because you've kind of earmarked which picture you want to go there. Um, and so you can add pictures even when you get home, if you want like bigger blown mm-hmm. up ones. So the thing that we learn most is going forward, maybe in the next year or so, we'll do a little bit more of the writing and then transition her slowly into her writing her own, mm-hmm. you know, longer sentences and, and hopefully eventually paragraphs of, you know, daily experiences. Is there anything else that you learned about that maybe? 
I, yeah, I think would do that, a little differently? I think I probably would have gotten some more, um, maybe some scrapbook papers and put yeah. those in the journal kit. Cause I thought, I think that those could have been fun, uh, pieces. We also did things like, uh, she went to the Irish step dancing competition. So we have like her wristband that's in here yeah, and yeah. we pasted that yeah, in. You didn't and, just limit it to photos or brochures or like physical things. Right. As there well. could be some physical things. And this, this journal was nice cause it actually had a pocket in the very back of it that's so cool. that you could slide larger things into. So yeah, I think if there's anything I learned, it was most Mostly that um, her having to do all of the writing was a little much. It, it, yeah, because there were some days when we didn't weren't able to get to it every single day, and she had to catch up on a couple of days. Yeah. So I would keep more on top of it. I make it part of like maybe uh, every morning instead of doing it in the evening when she's tired. Maybe a part of our homeschool in the morning when we get up, we have breakfast, and then have her do that. You know, recapping the previous day and mm-hmm. enjoying what we did. Uh, would have been would have been better because having to catch up on multiple pages at once is a little bit tough. Yeah, and maybe a stapler and some baggies if you're going on more of a nature thing, like collecting. You know. Yeah, there could be extra things. I think having a stuff. nice little journal kit aside, you know, we we had like a pack of crayons and we had other um, yeah. color pencils and things for general art. But I think having this, you know, segregated Dedi- just for yeah. the journal was nice. I think there was a nice sharpener in there as well. Yes, you never that's know, right. You never know when I you're going to need a sharpener. Yeah. I think journaling is a big thing here. Yeah, so definitely. we would encourage you guys to do it. I think we're going to be doing more of it going forward. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was I think it was a good experience for our daughter. It definitely was. Thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations. Until next time. Happy homeschooling!